Welcome to my circadian app. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the Lux feature within the app. Now, before we get started on this video, just a quick little note, this is not medical advice and not meant to be a substitute for working one-on-one -on -one with a practitioner. So how do you use the Lux meter on the My Circadian app? Well, first of all, let's talk about practically how to actually use it within the app. So you're going to open up the My Circadian app. Go for optimal to the melatonin Lux release, meter, you want your Lux to be below a 10, three hours leading up to bed. Here is a measurement in front of my red light therapy panel. And the closer and I go, look how high this Lux is. Which not good for sleep. Using. So I personally like to flip the camera and use the outward facing camera and make sure that the lens is clean because this will also influence the reading that you get but you're going to point the camera at the brightest point at the sky and then hit the camera button. It'll give you a reading. Now you may notice that if you stand different places, if you take a bunch of different readings, if you just point it every which way that's random, you're gonna get different readings. That's because where you point the camera is where it's gonna give you your reading. So you want to, for the most uh, accurate information about Lux, to use the camera, point it towards the brightest point in the sky from where you're standing and that's gonna give you your reading. Now, this is not going to be as accurate as like a thousand dollar, very expensive Lux meter, but it's a good way to gauge and give you motivation to know, hey, it's a really rainy, cloudy day. I really don't feel like going outside, but you go outside, you point the camera at the brightest point of the sky, and you'll see it can be, I've, I've seen it go up to 20, 30,000 lux on a rainy overcast cloudy day here where I live on the 33rd latitude and indoors it's like 32 lux <laughs> without overhead lights on. And so this is a really good way to motivate you to get a gauge of, Hey, it is bright outside and my brain, my metabolism, my hormones, uh, and to prevent seasonal affective disorder, I need to go outside and get this brightness, even though it's rainy and it, I just really don't feel like it. The Lux meter is going to help to motivate you to just get out there and hang out for a little bit, get all the infrared, the red, that's going to really help to support your mitochondria, make more exclusion zone water, more mitochondrial water. So this is all going to expand the exclusion zone. Infrared light does that. It's going to be very helpful uh, to your health and give you a gauge. Now at night, a lot of circadian people talk about no blue light after sunset and blue blockers. Here's another factor, Lux. Lux above a 10, three hours before bedtime, will also destroy your pineal melatonin production or block it from occurring. So even if you have a lot of um, you know, blue blocking bulbs in your home, if they are measuring above a 10 Lux, this could impact your pineal melatonin production, which is needed for deep sleep repair, master antioxidant, and very important to your overall health. So using the Lux meter to gauge your Lux in the evening, again, looking at the science and the scientific study that states this is on the My Circadian app website. We want our evening environment, the three hours leading up to bed to be a 10 or below. You can use the Lux meter within the app to get a gauge, right? We don't want to have 500 Lux uh, going on or 300 Lux, which is most indoor lighting, TV, right? You want to minimize the brightness in your environment as well. And the meter will help you to see. This is another reason I don't like red light therapy panels done as a treatment right up on your body in the evening because I've measured with my panel and it will get as high as 12,000 Lux. Distance, if you have a lamp on, you know, I put the lamps closer to the floor, keep them away from my body if I need to see around what's going on. Um, the further away that you are from something, the lower the Lux is going to be. The app, again, is meant to give you a gauge for what's happening in your environment so you can adjust your lifestyle accordingly to really maximize your light exposure, your sleep, and all of these things. Now, one little note about using the Lux meter within the My Circadian app at night. If your phone is turned up to maximum brightness, this is going to impact the reading as well. So know that, uh, you know, nothing's going to replace getting a really expensive Lux meter. But again, who wants to spend the money on that and then have one, you know, carrying it around with you? The convenience of the app is to give you a gauge so you can learn how to adjust your environment accordingly to support your health. But I have played around with the Lux meter at night and I'll get readings of like a one or a two, even if it's like pitch black, because 
the illumination from the phone. So that's important to know and understand if your phone's on bright blue, it's going to be different than it is on red or with the brightness turned way down. That's going to impact the readings that you get on the Lux meter, but it is pretty good because like I said, in a pitch black room with the camera feature of the Lux, I was getting a reading of a one, which is what you want in your sleeping environment. According to the scientific data is around a one for optimal sleep in your Lux environment. Anything above that can really disrupt your sleep. I hope this is helpful. Again, nothing here is medical advice. The app and the features therein are really meant to help you get a gauge for how to shift your environment, how to expose your body to different frequencies of light for best health outcomes. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video.